In this video, I invited you to live with us for a day. You will eat with us together, maybe some chat and cuddle. You will see how we keep our home clean, how a Singaporean and a sweet cope with their daily meals. We are going to cook together and enjoy a meal together. Welcome to live with us. Every morning, I used to wake up earlier than LG and I'll stay into my studio and just hang out and relax. Sometimes I use this peace and quietness to do some video too. My half-naked boyfriend will make us breakfast. Meantime, we can play with Siri. Usually, our breakfast on weekend is eggs and bacon. Usually, I like to season the egg myself so that I could get to taste exactly how I want it. Like most Singaporeans, we prefer to have a salty egg in the morning. In Singapore, we are used to eating half-boiled eggs. I ever made half-boiled egg before and LG just refused to eat them. So, oh, in this home, it's either hard boiled egg or omelette. But if you are a Singaporean and love half boiled egg, I happily make you one. When LG cook, he used butter as oil. And due to his lack of confidence in cooking, he felt comfortable when I stand beside him and guiding him along. Being a strict teacher, you can see that LG is a little nervous there. And nowadays, I learn to put my expectation down and let him do his stuff. Sometimes we have to let others make mistakes so that they learn faster. And with someone with OCD like myself, this is quite difficult to watch. As you can see, I'm trying to keep myself cool at this point. Usually I like to remove the bacon before I put them into the pan strips by strips. But since he is doing that, I thought I let him experience the mistakes and maybe he will learn from this experience. And as my mom often said, you need to burn yourself to learn all those mistakes the hard way. And I would say for someone who is over 65 and have to cook this bacon under supervision can be challenging and I think he's doing quite well. All he needs is some mental support and assistance. While he is cooking, I'm going to set the table up for breakfast. I love eating our breakfast at our kitchen countertop. Everything is out of reach. Our fork and spoon, our vitamins tablet, and we don't have to run up and down to our kitchen table. And food are served directly from the pan. If you do not want your bacon to be burned, let LG know in advance because he often likes to burn the bacon because he thought that that might be making it more crispy. As you can see, I'm still on the watch. Nope, I prefer mine to be not burned, so I'm gonna eat right away. In Sweden, it is really important to do things or house chores according to the weather. If the weather is good, we'll do something outside. If the weather is bad, we'll do more things inside, like cleaning for example. I'm so glad that LG liked to do this cleaning job some deep cleaning getting rid of the oil surface is essential we do this once a month when you stay with us you notice we only drink filter water and after breakfast we usually like to sit in the sofa and just read some news from our mobile device on sunday we usually doesn't want to work so much around the house 
So we spend most of the time in the living room either looking at our mobile device or watching television. Meantime, let's go to the bed and cuddle with Siri. And of course, Siri on the other hand enjoy all the attention she gets. After petting her, I will do my daily morning routine. I also enjoy writing journal. I mostly write about my thoughts for the day. And if it is not on Sunday, I usually lie on this bed to do my video editing. And so it's lunch time. Usually we eat leftover from last night dinner. You notice in Sweden, people usually like to eat fresh salad beside the main dish. When I first moved here, I find it really strange. But after staying here for a while, I start to appreciate this way of eating. Unlike Chinese style, we Chinese we like to stir fry, but this way we don't need to do that. We could eat the vegetables raw and actually it's more healthy. These are some char siu that I made last night and we made a lot, so there's a lot of leftover for lunch. LG is just so glad that I made some meat. Nowadays, I try not to eat too much meat and he wasn't so happy. But I think he started to understand nowadays. So eating together is more enjoyable now. As long as he get his coffee and fika after lunch, he's very satisfied. Usually we just drink a cup of coffee and chocolate, but today it's weekend, so I thought we enjoy a piece of chocolate cake. You will always notice that the sweet like to put vanilla cream on their cakes. This will make the cake more moist. At the beginning, I find it really weird, but nowadays I'm used to this. So now you understand. Why is it so difficult to lose weight here in Sweden? Nevertheless, I try to keep this to the minimum. After coffee, we decided to go to the shop to buy some groceries. Frankly speaking, sometimes I feel like I'm a hillbilly. Staying here for 21 years, I just felt like there's no need to put on nice clothes. Unlike Singapore, if you put on clothes like that, people will stare at you. But here, nobody would. I think sweet are not judgmental. Usually, they don't really bother how you dressed. And since the supermarket is just 70 meters from our home, ah, we just couldn't be bothered. Oh, look at the weather. It's so beautiful outside now. And just imagine, it's 2 o'clock. It's still bright and we always like to go out when it's still bright because when you go out dark, you won't be able to see the ground and sometimes you might slip and fall. If you are the first time here in Sweden, I suggest that you learn to walk in the winter. It took me a few years to identify where it's safe to walk and where it's not. So usually when I go out, and if LG is following me, I will hold on to his hand as I walk like an old lady. Sometimes the shop owners are quite good and thinking about the safety. They put up some sand so that their customer will not slip and fall. So you Singaporean don't think that, hey, how come so dirty and sandy here? How come they never sweep the floor? It's not that. They're doing this for your safety's sake. And these days, most shop has sanitizer at the entrance. So we usually doesn't want to grab things unnecessarily unless we want to buy them. I better grab the opportunity to buy some fresh vegetable myself because if you were to ask LG to buy, he will choose the worst looking one. And when you ask him why do you choose that, he will say, if I don't buy that, who else is going to buy it? 
plastic bag, you have to pay. But paper bag, no, you get it for free. Sweden is a very environmental conscious country. So this is really good. Free bags without any cost. Eco shopping come with an eco customer. LG always support local supplier. If I don't buy local supply dairy product, he will get angry with me. And look at this cute little man trying to reach out for the food and he cannot reach. <laughs> he is such a cute little man, don't you think so? It's good to bring him along so that he could carry my bag. And recently, social distancing has been taken seriously. I feel that these days and that is really good. And when it comes to sanitizing, we take it seriously too. All these food that are packed in this bag will be sanitized when we get home. And luckily our shop is so close to our home. You see, you could almost see the, our home at this direction. Look at the yellow house there. The one thing I love about this place is that the shop is so much appreciated by our B&B guests. And for a Singaporean like me, this is so convenient. I just love staying here. This is especially good when our age are catching up. Now it's time to take out all our stuff and sanitize it. Usually for vegetable, we will just wash it, dry it and put it back to the fridge. Look, it's snowing outside. Oh my god. So for bad weather like this, you will see us sitting in front of the phone most of the time. And in fact, we're spending too much time on phone. Now, it's time for us to cook dinner. LG suggested we eat fish today, so I thought I'd help him out. Usually, he likes to cook this fish baked in the oven with some cream, salt and pepper. But I like more greens, so I decided to ask him to cut some leeks while I prepare the seasoning. And you know me lah, I always like to add more seasoning in my food. So I also assist him in making the potato mousse. I used to hate eating potato mousse because I find that it is so tasteless. So I decided to suggest to LG that why not add some cheese in it. He said, yeah, that's a good idea. But let me taste it first. Mmm, not enough taste. Okay, I'm gonna get some cheese. So he listened to me, add the cheese, and yum. And for me, I didn't care what he want. I just want more green in my food. So I'm enjoying a glass of wine while cooking my peas. I think in Europe, people like to drink before they have their meal and I understand that because enjoying a glass of wine before meal can really help you to relax especially when you are cooking so stressful right and at this time I could smell this lovely baked fish all ready to be eaten 20 years ago I would say where is the rice but nowadays no I could simply just eat fish and with some vegetables as dinner. I think in order to lose weight, we really have to cut down on carbohydrate. So this is my plan. After I've eaten up all the carbohydrates I have at home, I'm not going to buy that anymore. I'm going to focus more on healthy eating. By means eating more vegetables than potato, than rice and pasta. My friend, she just lost 7 kilo within 2 months by just stop eating carbohydrate. Hmm, I think we should do that too. And you know me lah, so scared of putting on weight. So I quickly stamp up and twist my waist after I've eaten dinner while LG just relax watching his favorite TV program. We usually feed Siri 
just before bedtime so she won't come and catch out or wake us up. We turn off all the light not because we are stingy, it's because we are trying to be eco-friendly. Now I'm going to brush my teeth and get myself ready for bedtime. I love to stare at this crystal ball every time before I go to bed. It's like a self-reflection on what I have done and appreciate and being grateful for such a beautiful, wonderful day together with my loved one. And I hope you two enjoy a day with us. If you do like this video, you can help this channel to grow by giving a thumbs up or send me a comment just saying hi. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Meantime, good night and I'll see you. Bye.